channel, it's your girl Davia, and today I want to show you guys how I make my favorite banana oat pancakes. This is literally the most healthiest pancake that you can literally make with the most basic ingredients. And I used to make the instant box pancakes a lot because that's literally all I knew. But since I started to go more healthier, more natural, I discovered how to make these pancakes and they're literally my favorite. And so I just wanted to share my recipe with you guys. You can find these ingredients around your house. This is like basic house ingredients. Well, I guess for me. But if you guys don't have it, then of course you can go to the store. But literally, I feel like everybody should have these basic ingredients around your house. So all I have is cinnamon. I have a little bit of salt. I have some baking powder. Some steel cut oaks. Some vanilla. I have two eggs. I have some bananas. I love my bananas to have a little bit of brown on them because it makes it more sweet. I don't like just bright yellow bananas. The brown spots give you the more flavor. So make sure you make them get a little bit dark. And then I have me some almond milk. So my almond milk is a little bit dark because I'm trying a different kind of almond milk. So it was a little bit different but um, than my normal. But I'm super excited to try it. So hopefully it can boost my pancakes up but anywho let's go ahead and get started I just have my basic blender you can also make this recipe without the blender all you have to do is just um, cook your oats and then blend everything together rather than that that's all you really need to do and if you want me to make a video on how to make it without the blender definitely let me know in the comments because I will be happy to do that for you guys but basically all I do is I go ahead and pour my oats into my blender um, there we go and then I go ahead and get my bananas and I just peel it off. Of course, you can't pull it in there with the peel on it. And so I just peel it off. I break them up just a little bit and throw them in there. I toss this in the trash. And then I get my second banana. Peel it. Toss it in the trash. Throw it in there. Make sure everything's all good. Then I go ahead and get my almond milk and I just kind of pour it around. Depending on the consistency you want of your pancakes, I like mine to be a little bit thick but not too thick. And so it's kind of, I always make them like right in the middle. But it's always up to you on how you want yours to be done. I like mine thick because it makes the way it makes it cook. But like I said, it's totally a preference for you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my baking powder that I have. I have, I'm just going to use two teaspoons of that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and give me two. Just one. Two. And that's that. And then I need to go ahead and put my vanilla extract. And I'm going to go, this is actually brand new. I haven't opened it yet. One teaspoon of that. And there's that. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off so I'm still going to need it again. Then I'm going to go ahead and use one teaspoon of my cinnamon. And then I'm going to use a pinch of salt. Go ahead and put my eggs. You just need two regular eggs. I have some brown eggs, but you guys can use whatever eggs you preference. And just like that. And that's really it. And then we're going to go ahead and blend it. And then that's just how it should look. Like I said, I like mine a little thick and not too watery. So it's like right in the middle. As you guys can see, I usually just take this out and it's just perfect. Yay. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our pancakes. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and make our pancakes. All you need is just your batter and then a little bit of butter. I just used the Country Crock Plant Butter. 
It's my favorite. Um, but you guys can use whatever butter you want to use. But let's go ahead and make our pancakes. So I don't know if you guys can tell right here, but this is what I mean by having my pancakes thick. I like my pancakes thick and fluffy, so yeah, so perfect. And then now I just flip it over, I see you get that nice golden crust to it. I love mine's a little crunchy, so this is so perfect and it smells so good. I wish you guys could see my house right now, but ugh, my favorite. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so now that we're done making our pancakes, here are our pancakes. Now we can go ahead and add our toppings. I usually just do some walnuts with some bananas and some syrup. And that's really it. But I use sugar-free syrup, which is pretty good still. But yeah, that's really it. So let's go ahead and decorate our pancakes. Alrighty, so I have my banana and my pancakes. Normally I just go ahead and chop off the bottom portion of my banana and then I slice it up. Um, as you guys can see, my banana is brown spotted. Like I told you guys before, I love my brown spotted bananas. It just makes everything so much sweeter and gives it so much more flavor. So all I do is go ahead and peel it off and then I go ahead and slice it into tiny slices. Once I'm done slicing it, I just kind of place them on top of my banana. Normally, my for the rest of the bananas that I do have, I just kind of store it in the fridge or put it on other pancakes. But this time, I actually just tossed it because I didn't really need it anymore. But yeah. Anywho, I go ahead and place my bananas on top of my pancakes. Get it all nice and cute. Yes, girl. Yes. It looks so good. Oh, my God. Let me tell you guys. I love me some banana oak pancakes. It's just like to die for. So if you guys try it, let me know and let me know what you guys think about it. But now I went ahead and added my um, walnuts. And then here comes my sugar-free syrup. And it's just the finishing touches. Touches. It may look like a lot of syrup to you guys, but it's actually not. Sugar-free syrup is actually really, really watery. So, <laughs> yeah, compared to like thick syrup where it kind of just stays in place. Sugar-free syrup is more watery, so it runs, but it's not a lot of syrup. So just trust and believe me. But yeah, this is pretty much how my pancakes end up turning out. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like after I'm about to eat it. Alrighty, so these are my pancakes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!